Welcome to the very basic how to import geometry from 3ds Max and Juventus tutorial. In this tutorial, we will create a simple box and export it with the Open Collada exporter. We will import the box into Juventus and I will explain the interface of the Juventus importer. We start and create a simple box. You can leave the mesh as a procedural object inside of Max, but keep in mind that the importer will triangulate the mesh automatically. All you need to do is simply press the 3ds Max menu, press export and export selected. I prefer to export selected only, this is my workflow. The Ventus importer supports Collider, DAE files, OBJ files, RTG and so on. I strongly suggest you to download the Open Collider exporter from the Kronos group. It performs way faster than the built-in Autodesk Collider exporter. I tried to export a bigger virtual set one day and had to wait over 20 minutes until the exporter finally started. Simply look out for Open Collada 3ds Max 2014 or 2015 or whatever version you need. Then navigate to the GitHub and download the appropriate version for your 3ds Max version. This will be a DLE file and must be placed inside the 3ds Max standard plugs directory. Simply copy the file and restart Max. So we select the Open Collada export format, type in a brilliant name for your geometry and save it. Now the Open Collada export dialog pops up. It's very clean and has all the basic features we need, especially for our box. The standard options are bake matrices, relative paths and copy images which will be quite important soon. Geometry specific options like export the normal triangle at the mesh to include xrefs and tangent binomials, enable the export of animations which is very limited, resample the role animation and define the export range for animations. Well, leave the settings as they are by default and simply click OK. Switch over to Ventus and select File, Import, Geometry. Navigate to the 3ds Max export folder or your location. By default, the Import Geometry dialog is set to All Supported Formats. You can specify which files you would like to import here. As you see, Collada DAE, Wavefront OBJ, Alias RTG and DirectX files. Again, I prefer to use DAE files since all other formats had limitations or are somehow too old. I had very few issues with the DAE, especially the Open Collada format. Click OK and the Importer Preview will open. On the left side you have a preview of the imported model. On the right side are the import options, like the object's hierarchy. Here you can select three different ways how the object will be imported. Subsets based on original hierarchy, subset based on materials and single subset. I will explain this in detail in a separate small tutorial and we will choose subset based on original hierarchy right now. You can define your face in normal order or flip them globally. Change the scaling here, maybe you know already about the trouble of scaling between all the different 3D suits. Also you can define how the imported geometry bounding box should be handled. For example, you may have created your geometry way of the world center in 3ds Max, but you want to have the pivot or rotation center in the center of the imported geometry. Then you will switch the alignment of the bounding box origin to center, center, center. I created three boxes of the world origin. If I import them with a non setting selected, Ventus will simply import and position the geometry like it, it was exported from 3ds Max. As you see by the axis, the boxes are placed to the upper right of the world of Ventus. If I import these three boxes again, but this time I change the bounding box origin to center, 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 the imported geometry, while the bounding box of the geometry, will be placed in the world center of Ventus. The advantage is, that you can freely model inside of Max even 1000 units of the absolute world center imported into Ventus and have the geometry placed at the world origin. You can then easily reposition the geometry without searching for it inside of the Ventus renderer window. As mentioned, the rotation center has now changed from the imported models. If you rotate the not centered boxes now, they will keep rotating relative to their pivot, in this case the rotation center is the world zero. 
the centered imported geometry is already placed at the world origin and therefore rotate around their center. I will cover that more in detail in another tutorial. Ok, back to our import preview import options. Here you can enable the texture import as well as how to handle the UV coordinates. Yes, 3ds Max is special and we need to change something here later on. You can import the camera from Max as long as your exporter supports it. And import finally animations and adjust the animation playback speed here. The preview of our box looks weird now, but this is just because of the scaling. To navigate inside the preview window you can zoom in and out with the mouse wheel. Pan is done by pressing the middle mouse button. To pan faster you can use the Alt key and middle mouse button. Smoother with the Control key and middle mouse button. In the upper left of the preview you can see some statistics about your geometry like the vertex and face count as well as the object's position and size and subsets. As long as you didn't change the scaling, the values will match the Ventus units. That means a box made in Max with 406040 will be a cube in Ventus with 406040 units. Just click on Import and the mesh will be imported and saved inside your project. If you remember, our box is 406040, which is quite big for Ventus, size wise. Means we are right now inside of the box. Anyway, we will move our view soon outside of the box. But let's inspect our imported geometry. It created a new hierarchy container and placed our mesh, texture and material inside. Access the hierarchy container by double clicking the arrow. Here we have an axis with the naming of the imported geometry with all values straight from 3ds Max. Position, rotation, scaling and so on. The material with the same settings as in Max. Its default material, some greenish brownish diffuse and ambient, a set specular and so on. And the mesh loader with the already loaded Ventus mesh. So let's move out of here. I created a simple orbit cam, set the distance higher and there you go, our imported box. It looks like a plane, but it's just because of the lighting. Let's create a directional light and adjust the pitch in your orbit. As you see, our box from Max. If you know about coordinate systems, I guess you know since you're working with 3ds Max. Well, if you know about coordinate systems, you may know that 3ds Max is a bit special and it's right-handed. Most other software suits use left-handed. And the same goes for Ventus. Right now our box looks okay, but it's not. You need to always rotate the x-axis about 90 degrees. As reference, I created a small cube in Ventus and placed it next to our imported box. I just move the cube along the x-axis and usually the imported box bottom should be at zero, at the ground, but it is not. Let's show the usual world center or origin. Now you see it's like the box has visually fallen towards the front. In 3ds Max it's like the box sits on the ground and in Ventus it's like rotated 90 degree in the x-axis. All we need to do is place an axis in front of our imported geometry and set the X rotation to 90 degree or go directly into the object axis and set the rotation there to X90. Now the model is exactly at the expected position. Ok, let's talk about units. Right now I'm working with standard max units. Usually I work with metric centimeters or meters, but units is fine. As you might remember, our box inside of Max is 406040. That means, in fact, if I type in 406040 for our cube created inside of Ventus, it should match the exact size like the imported box. Ok, let's try. You see the axes are screwed up since the left and right hand coordinates chisel. Still a bit guessing here. Mm -hmm. 
And as usual, the last is always the right one. Here we go. It's the exact same sites. That's it for the basic how to import. We discuss the details on the next tutorial.